venting air from a hydronic system can be time-consuming and frustrating. Some of the manual air vents are located behind furniture or painted closed. What if there were a way to vent a hydronic system much easier in much less time? Would that be of interest to you? I thought so. Welcome, friends, to Boiler Room Detective. I'm your host, Ray Wolfarth. I read about using a purge valve in Dan Holohan's book, Pumping Away, but I'd never seen one until I was helping a friend with his newly purchased home that had hydronic heat. His main complaint was that certain areas did not have heat. He tried venting and venting and all he got was water. The radiator would eventually get warm, but would cool again quickly. Let's go see the boiler, I suggested. The boiler inside the basement had two zones and a purge valve on the return. It made me smile. I always wanted to try this. After getting an orange Home Depot bucket for my truck and a washing machine hose, I connected the hose to the purge valve in the other end inside the bucket. I shut off the power to the boiler and closed one zone. After I closed the valve on the return piping, I opened up the valve on the purge valve. It quickly filled the bucket. Be sure the bucket is close to the floor drain. It gets kind of messy. Want me to empty the bucket, my friend asked, and I shook my head. This is how we'll see if all the air is gone, I said, explaining that we keep venting the water into the bucket until the bubbles stop. I like using the fast fill or bypass on the boiler water feeder. A few minutes into the purging, We heard a noise in the piping, and a large bubble came out, splashing water. There we are, I said, smiling. Next, I moved to the other zone and repeated the process. I drained this zone until the bubbles stopped in the bucket. When done, I shut the purge valve, opened the valve below, and adjusted the system pressure. Twenty minutes after the boiler started, the cooled radiator started to heat. My friend told me it stayed warm all winter long. Since then, I've learned a few tricks about using the purge valve to vent air. When using a purge valve on the return like this, we still have to worry about air inside the boiler. I sometimes open the relief valve to vent the air from the boiler. When doing so, make sure the relief valve shuts or you have a spare. I know a guy that didn't really have one, and it made life messy. Another trick is to cycle the valve open and close to try dislodging stubborn air pockets. Lastly, if the pressure regulator doesn't have a bypass or quick fill, I will connect the hose from the slop sink or water heater to the boiler and feed the water that way. Make sure you have hose caps because the drain valves will probably leak when you're done. In Dan Holohan's book, Pumping Away, He suggests installing the purge valve on the boiler supply pipe and a shutoff valve between the makeup water connection and the purge valve. This will vent the air from the boiler and the piping. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you want to contact me, email is the best way. I have two websites, brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is fireiceheat.com. It's my company's website and shows some of our capabilities. My boiler books are available on Amazon, and my technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.